What's up? This is Gabriel. This is True Sports. And these are my quick picks for the main card of UFC Fight Night 174 uh, in Abu Dhabi on Fight Island. Uh, it starts at 5 p.m. Pacific time for uh, the main card. And uh, let's get into it. First fight's going to be Kamzat Chimeyev versus Rai McKee. And uh, uh, just a little information on Kamzat. He just fought 10 days ago for his UFC debut uh, on UFC Fight Night 172 and dominated. I feel like he's going to dominate again. He has a lot of momentum on him uh, from his debut. Not only that, but not too many fighters get the opportunity to fight this fast. And uh, since he has it being on the main card and uh, the welter he's in the welterweight division, being that that division is popping, I'm sure they're going to want to boost him up if he is showing uh, promising skills so i i got kamzat he has a big opportunity i think he's gonna take it i think he's gonna roll with it and i think he's gonna uh make it happen uh next up is gonna be alex Oliveira versus peter sobata now for me i think that alex is gonna take this one i love cowboy i think he's a great fighter i know he is iffy with his his uh wins and losses but i think i think he's gonna take it uh and yeah, let me let me go to the next one. Next is Paul Craig versus Godzim Murad Antigulov. And uh, I looked over these guys' uh, like records and all that. I don't know too much about them. I'm not too familiar with them. But uh, it looks like they're both coming off a loss. Antigulov just lost last year uh, by knockout. So I don't know if that's going to have a role mentally with them. I mean, these guys are all fighters, but... You know, everyone has problems mentally with losing, I'm sure, one way or another. So hopefully he's getting over it. But I think that it might hinder him. Maybe he might not be as confident being that he got knocked out in the first round. But uh, Paul Craig's been knocked out, but he's shown that he can come back and win fights. So I'm, I'm picking Paul Craig because I feel like he, he, he can uh, he can really show out and put out and still get knocked down and come back. So Paul Craig on that one. Next is uh, Carla Esperanza versus Marina Rodriguez. And uh, I'm picking Marina. She's undefeated. She doesn't have as many fights as uh, Carla, but I feel like Carla's taking a lot of damage throughout her career while Marina's staying undefeated. She has been, uh, I'm sure she's been hit a few times, but not as much as Carla. She's been beat down. She's fought a lot, you know, so I'm sure she's worn down a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I'm picking Marina on that one. Next is uh, Verdun versus Gus. Uh, Fabricio Verdun versus Alexander Guff, Gustafsson. And, uh, man, I feel like whenever a guy leaves and comes back because he has that fire burning, he usually goes out there and shows out. Not only that, but he's in the heavyweight division right now. I don't know if he's going to stay there, but you don't have to cut weight. Fabricio's old. He's on his last fight on his contract, and he said he's not going to fight for the UFC after this. So... We're going to see. I, I don't think that um, Fabricio is going to get it done. I think Gus is just too young, one, too strong for sure, being in the heavyweight division. And uh, just the passion. When someone's passionate about something, you you can't stop. You can't really stop them. Of course you can, but you obviously if someone's passionate about something, they're going to go out there and give their all. So I think Gus is going to go out there, put it on Fabricio, and uh, yeah, I got, I got Gus. And now... To the co-main event, two legends of the sport, Shogun Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Little Nog uh, uh, Nogera. Sorry, I forgot his his first name. I always get Antonio and Rodrigo. I, I, I get their names mixed up. But these guys are fighting. I feel like this is going to be like a retirement fight for both of them. I feel like Shogun really wants to retire. He's been talking about how He's been telling his wife he's been trying to he's been telling his wife that he's been going to retire since like 10 years ago or something. So I feel like this one's going to be his last one. I think that he's going to get it done. Uh, I don't see Little Nog being as good as uh, as good as Shogun. I feel like Little Nog, he is older and I feel like it shows way more than uh, than it does on Shogun, even though it does show on Shogun. So I got I got Shogun on this one. And uh, let's go to, you know, the main event. Main event is Robert Whittaker versus Darren Till. And uh, I really think for this fight, it's going to be crazy. I'm hoping it's going to be crazy. 
Uh, Rob's a striker. Rob really puts out a lot of uh, volume. Darren's a little more of a counter striker, but he still puts out some volume. He's still strong. He's still powerful. And uh, I had high hopes for the Kelvin fight until the Kelvin until fight, but I know that one didn't go the way I wanted it to. But Rob is way bigger than uh, Kelvin, so we're gonna see Rob. And I didn't I didn't realize because Till looks big. Rob is right there. He's like I think they're the same height. So it's gonna be an interesting fight. Not only that, but. Till is jumping up to an actual middleweight fighter, not Kelvin. Kelvin is 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 a little small for the middleweight division, so it's going to be interesting how he deals with that. He he jumped into the middleweight division, but with the welterweight, so he's going to have to understand that it's going to be a bigger jump in strength and in different aspects of this fight than his last fight with Kelvin. But uh, he's going to be strong. And as much as I would love to see Till versus Adesanya, if Adesanya gets past Costa, uh, I really think that Rob's going to take this. I think that Rob has that championship mentality. He took his little break, too. And, uh, yeah, I think I think he's going to handle business and uh, go for it. So I got Rob to uh, go over all my picks real quick. First, Kamzat Chimmyov. Next, uh... Alex Oliveira. After that, Paul Craig. After that, Marina Rodriguez. After that, uh, Alexander Gustafsson. Co-main event, Shogun Hua. And main event, I got Rob Whitaker on this one. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to all the fighters that are fighting. Uh, they're the ones who really sacrifice and put their bodies on the line for uh, for our entertainment. So I really appreciate it. Thank you very much to all of these guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a good one. And I'll see you when I see you.